We're going to kick it off with a wedding. We actually found a couple that's getting married during the total eclipse. That's going to be exciting. Uh, we'll also be, we'll have a camera on a skyscraper here in town. We'll have a live camera at the zoo so we can see how the different animals react. We've, we've been told to watch the pink flamingos very carefully. Speaking of animals, we'll not only be at the zoo, but uh, we've kind of made a celebrity out of a rooster named Mambo. Does the rooster crow for a second time that morning? Or well, actually it'll be in the afternoon, but will he, will he crow again? It's gonna be interesting. We'll have uh, weather hits uh, from uh, and traffic hits every 15 minutes or so. And in all, we're going to have about 13, 14 people uh, spread out live across the area, which will be streaming this live coverage for four hours. Well, this is something that we are really, really excited about. We're calling it Lights Out in the Land. We've been preparing about this, and we've had our reporters and our crews out on the field for a long, long time producing content for lights out in the land. We are expecting to be overwhelmed by people here in Northeast Ohio, and that could lead to gridlock in some places. So we've been working people through that process to make sure they can get where they wanna go so that they can be in place to see the eclipse. One aspect of Lights Out in the Land that we are really excited about involves the Lake Erie Crushers, and it's an independent minor league baseball team. That's a picture of their stadium right there. It's a beautiful facility, and we've partnered with them, so we're going to have a, a crew there all afternoon. Well, we, of course, are thrilled to be involved um, with Gray, uh, other Gray television stations through this whole process, and one of the reasons for that is we are providing uh, tons of content for people across the Gray television family because we are in the path of totality. Large sporting events you think about as things that bring a lot of people together um, with kind of that like energy and that crowd and that hype. Uh, it's not often that something science related does that. But I think what the eclipse does is it has the potential to get a whole lot of people excited about something that is positive, right? I hope that our coverage helps people who are at home who might not be able to go out and experience that for themselves in the same way as someone who's you know able to take the day off and go to a watch party. I'm excited to see people really learning something about what's going on in the universe, in the sky. It's a really, it is a once in a lifetime opportunity 